So, I mean, there's an obvious difference. We could see that over here easily, easily. I don't know if you guys could see that, but there's way more dust and pollen, whatever it is, on this side. And there's not much on this side, so take it for what it's worth. All right, so in today's video, we are going to be testing out this Shine Armor Quick Coat Spray Wax. So basically this product here is designed to protect your paint, leave it streak free, leave it shiny, give it that good finish that waxes usually do. But this is designed to do it much quicker. It's also designed to protect your paint from UV rays and things of that nature. Everything that I'm reading that they're saying is designed with advanced technology. Full disclaimer, they did send me this product. But with that being said, I will be giving my full honest opinion. If this is a good review and you guys want to purchase this, I do have a link down below in the description. But basically what we're going to do, obviously we're going to wash the car and everything. The car is pretty dirty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tape right down the middle and then we're going to test each side the treated side the untreated side and i'm gonna keep that piece of tape on all day maybe even until tomorrow that way you know a good amount of dust is able to accumulate on the hood and we'll be able to see the difference of the treated side and the untreated side obviously first things first let's get to washing the car before we begin everything that i use in the video everything that i use on the channel is linked down below in the description So we're ready to get going here. You see the car is all nice and clean. We got the Shine Armor Quick Coat Spray Wax. Basically what it says to do is to spray wax onto a clean damp microfiber cloth and onto the surface you are working on, approximately a three by three area. This is clean and damp. And then it says to gently wipe the surface with the first pre-wetted folded microfiber cloth right here. That's step two. Step three, quickly switch to a clean folded dry microfiber cloth and buff out remaining haze before it dries. Got that right here. And then basically repeat the process until the entire vehicle is clean, waxed, and protected. This will result in a clean, glossy, and beautifully protected shine. All right, so one thing I do wanna say, this is not meant to clean your vehicle, so you shouldn't put this on unless your vehicle is first clean like we just did, because that will destroy your paint. So this is the side we will be treating. This is the side we will be leaving untreated. I do have PPF in this area, so I'll probably just treat this area right here or maybe I'll do the whole thing, you know, just to see. Probably end up doing the whole thing, you know, just to make it worth it. We'll do this whole side. We'll leave this side undone. We'll come back in a day or two and we'll see what the results are. So with all that being said, let's uh, let's see how this stuff works. So right off the bat, I can feel that this part of the paint that I am treating is like smooth. And then when I come over here, it's a little tougher to go back and forth. 
So that's just the initial feeling that I've got so far. Oh, for sure. Like, just listen. You could tell this is like so smooth. That's an obvious difference. And look, I'm putting not too much pressure because I don't want to mess up my paint, but. Oh, yeah. Well, there's an obvious difference. There's definitely a layer over the car. We'll just see how well it protects the paint. But, I mean, it's obvious, and I'm sure this is, so many people are cringing by hearing me do that to the paint right now, but it's obvious, you know, it's an obvious difference as far as the look goes. You guys tell me, what do you see? Untreated side. Treated side. This side does look good. There is an obvious shine to it. Uh, let's do a water test. Actually, before the water test, let's do this test. So this is just sliding right off. As you all can see, let's try it over here. No slide. So, I mean, there's an obvious difference. We can see that. This thing isn't sliding over here, over here, easily, easily, no matter where you put it. So there is an obvious difference. Let's do the water test. All right, let's drip a little bit of water on my freshly washed vehicle. Let's see this side. So obviously much more water is staying over here as opposed to over here. So, I mean, it's an obvious difference that you can see. We'll leave it on, like I said, for a day or so and we'll see how the dust builds up and we'll go from there. All right, so I still wanna see what happens in a day or so, but if you guys are already convinced, the link is down below in the description. And if you use the code Louis13, you will save money on your order. Several days later. All right, so we're back a few days later. And as far as dust goes, it looks like more of the dust is on the side that I treated than the side that I didn't treat. But one thing that um, I did think about is maybe I shouldn't have put the water on so quickly. Maybe I should have let it, you know, sit in there for a little while before I put the water on there. That's something to consider. But if we get the dust off, I mean, the dust comes off easily, pretty much on both sides. I just noticed this, I drove to a different spot and the sunlight, I, I don't know, the lighting is different. But if you guys could see where I wiped the dust off, it didn't really come off on this side. I don't know if you guys could see that, but this side, it did come off for the most part. This side, I don't know if it's new dust or if it just didn't come off. It looked like it came off, but there's way more dust and pollen, whatever it is, on this side, and there's not much on this side, so take it for what it's worth. Let's see about the whole sliding situation. I mean, the thing's still sliding a little bit. Oh yeah, you see it's still sliding. It still has that nice shine to it. Let's see if it slides on this side. Yeah, it definitely doesn't slide on this side, so it's still there. Definitely still there, because that thing doesn't slide at all. And over here, it doesn't slide as much as it did before, but it's still sliding as you guys can see. So 
is definitely still on there maybe should have waited a little while before i put the water next time i test it i'll let it sit for a little longer and see if that changes anything but overall for the price i think this is a pretty good product i don't know let me know what you guys think that's gonna do it for this one i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one salute